Hey, this is NDM Apple, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own widgets for Dashboard. In order to do this, you need to download a program called Dashcode. You can do this by going to the Apple Development Connection and registering as a member. Once you've downloaded Dashcode, open it up, and I'm going to start off by showing you how to create a custom app. This is called your Canvas. I'm just going to get rid of this, and your library is this over here. So it, for my first widget, I'm just going to create a simple text editor. So I just create that. And then over here, what's going to be put on the back? I'm going to put some text just saying a simple text editor. And I'm just going to center that just to make it look nicer. Obviously, this is just for demo purposes. Once I've done once I've done that, I can now press run at the top here, and this is what my widget would look like in the dashboard. I can just do some random typing there, and if I press I, I get a simple text editor. That's great, but let's try and move on to something more advanced. I'm going to open up Dashcode again, and let's say you're into video podcasting, and you want to create a widget so your subscribers can view your videos in the dashboard. You click that for template, and this is now the simple template. Now, in order to set up the widget, you have to open this up, and you have to enter your podcast URL in, as you can see there. So, I've got a podcast URL from iTunes. I subscribe to Golf Tips, it's called, and I'm going to type the URL now uh, into podcast URL, so... Take a minute. You can obviously do this with your own podcast URL. Okay, once I've done that, I can just click default image again. I'm going to click run. This is what it would look like. It's loading. And this is the latest podcast I've released on Monday, March the 10th. Golf Tips is sponsored by Callaway Golf Pre-Owned, the hottest value for your game. Okay. And I can pause that, and then I can press Info, and this will just tell me a bit about the show. I can also click Subscribe, and this will let me subscribe into iTunes. Let's say I'm happy with my widget, and I want to, let's say, put it into my own dashboard. I can click deploy widget and deploy widget to dashboard and this will then allow me to put it into my dashboard. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial on how to create widgets for your own dashboard and I hope you continue to watch my videos at ndmapple.com and on my YouTube account and I hope to see you in my next video.